Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to October of 2022, yeah? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this rest, this message finds you well. Please keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. It's also fairly timeless. It is being recorded and delivered in the month of October, um, so that may have a heavier influence for you for the month of October. But understand that whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment. Time is fluid, okay? Time is an illusion. Energies are fluid. There we go. Could be talking to a cross watcher here. Keep that in mind as well. Just place this in your life as it fits. For Gemini's here, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, two more shuffles. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. Did I say that? And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Okay, we're ready, Gemini. What we got for you? What we got for you? What's going on? First card out is the Two of Wands. <clears throat> what I just heard is setting your sights on greater circumstances. Um, I feel like with this Two of Wands energy, Gemini, you guys are in a moment of, yes, obviously trying to make a decision, um, but I feel there's a feeling of in, a sense of being inspired somehow, um, of desiring something. The strongest thing that I'm feeling here is how to make more money. Um, but I also heard some sort of passion project that you may be starting, getting off the ground. I feel like there is definitely a level of inspiration here that you have recently come to. And at this point now, Gemini, you're at a place where it's like, okay, I feel inspired. I wanna move forward with this. I wanna do something about this. How do I go about it? I feel like you're in the process or in a mode right now with this two of wands of trying to figure out how to take action how to make this plan and or this dream or this vision into a reality. I feel like you're very inspired at this moment, Gemini. Very inspired here. Oh, woo. Okay, the nine of swords and the eight of cups. Very interesting. Anything else? No, actually, you know what? We're just gonna leave it right there. Um, okay, and the overall energy here is strength. So, um, So it's interesting because this already feels pretty similar to some of the other energies that I channeled today for Taurus and for Aries. Um, but it seems here, Gemini, that you are walking away from something. You do have this Eight of Cups energy here. And this new direction or this new project or this new creative venture or however it is you're feeling inspired right now, to move forward in towards it has it has a lot it's heavily influenced i'm hearing by some sort of situation or circumstance that you are walking away from this is giving me feelings this eight of cups here this is giving me feelings of um what may have held you back in the past so there I, again gemini there is a feeling here of strong exuberance maybe even excitement or just a strong desire to move forward with something and i feel like you've been sitting on it for a long time the eight of cups energy gives me a feeling of something from the past that has been long standing or that you have been maybe a belief system something you've believed in Oh, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so what I was saying here, this Eight of Cups energy feels like a belief system, something that you believed in or something that you had been pursuing for a long time. Um, it feels like it was heavily ingrained. I'm hearing this may be even some sort of um, family belief system that was passed down, something that you inherited as a belief system, something, whatnot, whatever. But it was keeping you from f pursuing I really wanna call this a passion project, but take it as it resonates, okay? Um, something that you're very passionate about. It could be some sort of artistic or creative expression, something that it could even be like this belief system could be something surrounding, oh, well, you'll never really be all that successful with that, or you know, you're not gonna make much money or whatnot, whatever, or just believing that you weren't good enough or something like that. Um, and I feel like that, that is really what you're walking away from with this Eight of Cups energy here, right? And then with this Nine of Swords that's here in the center, what this feels like is 
uh, it, it almost feels like your soul has been nagging you about this. Um, at like restlessness, can't sleep at night. It's one of those, it, it's definitely one of those situations in which, you know, every, nothing feels right for you or nothing really, maybe something, nothing was really working out for you because you weren't pursuing something that you're really meant to be pursuing or that you were feeling really guided to pursue or like, it, like it's a soul's calling almost. Okay, and then overall energy, and I'm, I'm sorry, so the Nine of Swords is that energy of the anxiety surrounding being in resistance to following through with how you're feeling inspired, okay? And then your overall energy here, Gemini, is the Strength card. And this is definitely a level of holding your ego back. The egoic part of you or the ego mind or belief system that says, I'm not good enough, I can't achieve this, I can't accomplish this, this is, you know, a pipe dream or whatnot, whatever, like that, no. Believe in it, believe in you, believe in yourself. If you are feeling inspired to do something, it doesn't, technically, it's not, doesn't matter so much how something turns out in the end. What really matters the most is that you follow through with it and have the experience, okay? There may be some sort of judgment, some sort of familial judgment or judgment from the people around you in terms of like, like, total side eye, like, what are they doing that for? It's none of their business, okay? As long as you are feeling inspired to do it, as long as it's something you really want to do, then by all means, go for it. But it seems also that the universe, your higher self, your soul, whatever you want to call it, wouldn't let you rest until you got started. And some of you may have even been at that Ace of Wands energy for a while feeling the inspiration, the drive, the desire to do this, to go for this, whatnot, whatever. And so now you're finally like, okay, fine, I accept it, spirit, or I accept it, self. And you're saying to yourself now, okay, so how do I go about this then? How do, how do I do this? Getting very serious about the situation. This even could be a romantic situation too. Take it as it resonates, you guys. Some, uh, uh, you know, building a life with someone or having a relationship or pursuing a relationship with someone could very well be a passion project, right? Okay, excellent. Um, which I want to clarify now. We're going we're gonna to clarify the Nine of Swords first. So what's this Nine of Swords for Gemini, please? D <laughs> Shut up. Yo, you guys, you guys can't make this stuff up. The Ace of Wands. There it is. The anxiety that you've been feeling has been the restlessness surrounding you being in resistance to accepting this torch, to taking up this torch or this passion project here, okay? Clarifying the Nine of Swords, please. The Wheel of Fortune. I, ooh. Ooh. Okay, the Ace of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the emperor, but the emperor is reversed. So this right here, there you go, that's the resistance. This is the blockage. This is, this does feel like authority within you that's telling you or basically reaffirming some sort of authority around you over all this time or this time period or over the course of your life that's told you, no, you can't do this. You will not be successful. It's not a, but. This feels extremely dogmatic, this, this, um, this emperor in reverse. This feels very much like a my way or the highway type of energy. This maybe even could be an influence from a father figure, your father, someone that, that was, or, or at least someone that was always in control or had some sort of power or authority over you. But then also, this, is this, this emperor energy is still also feeling like an energy that's been coming from you, saying, no, I can't do this, or specifically, more specifically enough, no, I'm not worthy enough to pursue something like this. That right there was the blockage. And when the Wheel of Fortune came out, what I heard and felt was very strongly, all you really had to do was to choose to take up the torch or choose to follow through with your passion or your inspiration, and that will change the whole landscape. That literally, you choosing, you choosing to say, I'm going to follow through with this, is what is knocking this emperor energy out of your way this negative influence, this negative authoritative influence. 
which is also why the, the emperor is in reverse here, because this authority figure that would, or this voice in your head, or this belief system that's telling you, no, you absolutely cannot do that. It would be foolish for you to pursue this, whatnot, whatever, has now been knocked away, is now turned in reverse, is no longer blocking you. Okay, so this reversal here means two things. One, the blockage that this emperor energy was, and I'm definitely feeling a strong, authoritative, my way or the highway type of energy, even manipulative energy, right? Because when the emperor is reversed like this and is using their authority like this, they're doing it in a toxic, low vibrational, um, self-centered, selfish, egotistical, from a, that type of point of view. So that's one reason why the emperor is reversed here. But the other reason that the emperor is reversed here is because by you choosing to take up this torch, this energy has been removed out of the way. Overall, at the bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups, celebration. Literally, all you had to do, Gemini, to release yourself from this anxiety, this fear, this restlessness, these sleepless nights, was to just choose to accept the challenge. Regardless as to what other people may have said about it, regardless as to what 1111, how you may have subsequently be, uh, developed a certain beliefs surrounding this situation, regardless of that, all you had to do to release yourself from this anxiety was to choose to accept it. And now there's celebration because of it. And now even people can come together. There is, with this Three of Cups energy, this is also kind of similar to the Aries reading that I did earlier today. But this Three of Cups energy would represent uh, teamwork, camaraderie, celebration, yes, but like groups of people that come together of like mind. I'm, I'm definitely feeling like for some of you, you now are able to, are in the right energetic space to now find people to work with or find like-minded individuals, soul family. I'm definitely getting some sort of creative endeavor for you, Gemini. This might be in music. And this Three of Cups could absolutely be your bandmate, bandmates. Getting a little more specific here, some of you may actually already be in a band, but you, now, you guys never... Mm. The dominant feeling here is you, Gemini. Because what I'm getting with for specifically in some ways for this, you were a part of this band. Shit, you may have even been the lead singer. I don't know. But you were a part of this band and everybody was kind of into it, but you were always kind of holding back. No, I'm not so sure. But now that you are accepting this situation and saying, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Now the rest of the band is like, hell yeah. Did I just rip my shirt? I totally just ripped my shirt. Oh, well. Ha! <laughs> hell yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Two of wands then, right? Yes, the Eight of Cups is last. Okay, clarify the Two of Wands, please. Queen, not the Queen, the, the Page of Pentacles. Excellent. Breaking new ground. Starting, the, starting to get the process going. Two of Wands. Take this one. Aha! Ooh-wee! Wow! Wow, Gemini! Overall energy is the Six of Pentacles. Uh, okay, clarifying the Two of Wands, you have the Page of Pentacles, like I said, is break, which is breaking ground, okay, starting the physical process, right? So, so as we said, remember, this Two of Wands is you in this moment of, okay, so how do I do this? Like, practically speaking, what steps do I take now? That's this Page of Pentacles energy, okay? So you may be in a, pro a situation right now or a process of learning, doing research, um, even though, yeah, I mean, even though that, that learning and research type of energy is more of a page of swords situation, in this case, the page of pentacles can also represent, like, say, going back to school or learning a new skill or developing this skill, okay? So that could be an element here, but I also feel mostly this is about breaking ground on the situation and now physically getting to work, okay? With this, though, you do have the three of swords, but then after the Three of Swords came the King of Swords. Not going to let the pain and the heartbreak stop you. Or maybe for some of you here, you were consciously aware of the fact that being in resistance to this, not allowing yourself to take up this charge was causing you pain and strife and turmoil. And you got very serious with yourself and was like, look, obviously, it's obvious I can't sleep at night because I'm resisting a passion project at hand. So what else is there to do? King of Swords says, okay, well, if that's the evidence, if that's the truth of the situation, what do you do? 
you break yourself free. The tower and the eight of swords. Again, Gemini, all you had to do was choose to take up this charge. And it was almost like immediately, all of that anxiety and fear and restlessness out the window. Feelings of being trapped, stuck in, out the window. This Eight of Swords also would represent a specific belief system, limiting belief system, that kept you trapped or stuck in one place. Blew that shit right out of the water, didn't you? <laughs> I love that. I love that. Okay, and that's why Spirit said the Eight of Cups is last. So now let's clarify that Eight of Cups. Because remember, when I was talking about the Eight of Cups, I was saying this feels like a belief system a long-standing situation that you haven't really, that you've just been adhering to because it's, it's what you learned, it's how you grew up, it's what you inherited, blah, blah, blah. But you're leaving this behind. You may, some, somebody here, uh, this really may be a situation in which somebody is like getting into a band or is starting a band or is starting some sort of music career or something. It just feels like you're leaving a level of stability and security for something that you, are, you, that you have a great deal of passion for. Okay, Eight of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Gemini, please. You guys, first card is judgment. I mean, come on. Eight of Cups. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, bitch! Overall energy is the king of motherfucking pentacles. This is your future right here is what I'm hearing, okay? But this is you, no, well, no, okay. It really is your future. It really is your future. Um, because remember, you're right now at this two of wands energy of trying to figure out how to make this, put this plan into action or how to, how to start going for this, right? Which is also clarified by the page of pentacles. So right now you're still in the, in the beginning stages of it, but ultimately the king of pentacles is where you're looking to go, where you're looking to end up. And what this is saying here so far with the eight of, cu with the eight of cups being clarified by the judgment is one of my favorite phrases ever. Either, well, well, if this is gonna happen or whatnot, whatever, there's only one way to find out, right? You're either gonna be successful or not, but you will absolutely 100% always be unsuccessful if you don't even try, right? I'm hearing either shit or get off the pot, or it's now or never, or there's only one way to find out, or ain't nothing to it but to do it. And so, you do it. Eight of Pentacles. Judgment, Eight of Pentacles, and then the Ten of Cups. Oh, there we go. It's, it's back. Noah. Whatever. The power went out. But it just came back. Okay. Okay. Actually, I was going to mention this before, but I didn't. But the power went out while I was doing this reading. And I, that kind of felt like it was resonant with this situation for you. Because it's like, it's like everything, while you were still in this situation here, the Eight of Cups, whatever it is, this long-standing situation or, or belief system or whatnot, whatever idea you had about yourself, belief you had about yourself or this, whatever your project is, it's like when you were staying here, all the lights were out, nothing was working. You were anxious, you were upset, you were restless, you couldn't sleep, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. And so boop, power goes out lights out but then when you choose to take up this charge all of a sudden the power comes back when you choose to go for your dreams and start to do the work towards your dreams and happiness your ultimate wish fulfillment something that maybe won't make you a shit ton of money but it will make you real happy right that's really what's most important when you when you chose to get up and start doing it power comes back I love this for you, Gemini. Absolutely love it. Let's get a closing message for you. Closing message for Gemini, please, spirit. Six of Swords. That is a very common energy right now. Knight of Cups.
Okay. Overall energy is the Ten of Wands. But in this situation, Gemini, I don't feel like the Ten of Wands is a bad thing. It's, it's sure, it's an overburden. It's over, it's technically it's being overburdened or having a lot on your shoulders or having a lot of work to do. But also a positive way to look at this card is this person has 10 wands or has a bunch of products to now sell to them at a market. Okay. Over time, ultimately, you are probably going to end up having a lot to show for what it is you're doing in this passion project. There is very much a sh very strong energy right now, Gemini, of you being at the inception or being at the beginning of a situation with goals, long-term goals in mind to ultimately have something to show for it or get somewhere with it. And you are on your way there, okay? Your closing message here with that Ten of Wands is the Six of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Your life is being made so much easier. Things will be so much easier for you or are so much easier for you when you just follow your heart. And that's what you're doing. And you're moving forward. You're moving out of rough waters. You're moving out of turmoil. You're moving out of strife and restrictiveness. And you're doing that by following your heart or following this, the lead in this passion project that I'm hearing is going to bring you so much joy and abundance. But all you had to do was just choose it, was just choose to say, okay, I'll take up the charge. Okay, I'll carry this torch. Okay, I will follow this passion. That's it. All you had to do was choose it. And you have. Or you're about to. So there you go. Excellent. I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you so much love. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined, haven't done so already. If you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested, and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up. But with that said, I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>